voted to strike, and he joins me now. Arroy, thank you very much for oh, taking you for the time um, to speak to us. I mean, my colleague just really outlined some of the figures for our audience around right. the world to get a sense of why mm -hmm. you want to strike. But just explain why you have decided to strike and how hard that decision must have been for you, Arroy. Um, voting for strike as a nurse is, goes against our like our very own fiber as a nurse. But if we don't don't do this now, we'll be regretting five years later why didn't do it. If we're still practicing nursing five years later, even um, patient safety is compromised, the nursing practice is compromised, the quality of healthcare we are able to give because of the overwhelming um, workload that we get is just impossible to bear with. At the moment, we're managing, but it's not going to get easier. Um, winter pressure is coming. We need the staff um, to sustain this. And um, people here is 17%, but what we're trying to say is that we need staffing and people um, are in a position to decide if they don't get um, compensated well, if they want to stay or leave. We care for people, but we have to take care of ourselves as well. And it's just a, an outcry for staffing, really. All we want is staffing levels. Unfortunately, it comes with being compensated fairly. Of course. You, you, but like you said, Ara, it's not just about pay. Compensation is important. But you, do you feel like you are overworked, you're overburdened? And what impact do you think that might have at work? Do you feel that you may make mistakes? It's, it, Isa, it's so easy to make a mistake at the workplace right now, like as a nurse. Um, a, a concrete example is that uh, on, a, on a ward of 30 patients, you're supposed to have um, just six patients, so just like five nurses. What, what's happening now is that you've got three nurses looking after 30 patients, just 10 patients mm -hmm. each nurse. That's double the ideal workload that you have. Um, so it's easy to make a mistake. It's easy to lose our livelihood. It's easy to lose a patient. It's, it's, it's a lose lose to everyone. That's why we're going for the strike. It, honestly, the center of this is the patient safety and nothing else. Do, do, you, do you feel burnout? It's, it's a thing. It's a thing. Um, Do your right. colleagues feel that too? I mean, how? what's the consensus among other nurses? Everybody's feeling burnt out and yeah. everybody's trying to get out of this job. But we love this job and we're trying to stay. That's why we're fighting for it. We're fighting for the NHS and patient safety. Um, yeah. It's stress within nurses. It's just, um, ge in general, that's the consensus now. And I've seen people break down and cry. I myself, I broke down um, a year ago when I was working in a different hospital as well. It has just been overwhelming, really. It's, it's unmanageable, very unsafe for us to practice as nurses in the wards. It must be so hard as well, because your job is to care and to nurture and to look after patients. And this decision, Alroy, that you have taken and so many others have taken, must have been so hard because it goes, like, like you said, against every single fibre of, of, of your body. Uh, do you understand, though, why some people are upset by, the, by your decision to walk out, that, that, that you're leaving so many... Uh, other people, you know, in danger. I, th I think they have a misconception that on the strike, people are just going to go out randomly out of the wards in the hospital. It does not work that way. Um, like I said, still mm. nurses, patient safety is the core of this. And so it's an organized, well thought of strike. Um, so life extending and life preserving services will stay. Mm. It's just like Christmas or a bank holiday. It's there. Um, so that's what's going to happen. It's, we don't just walk out. It, this is not um, similar to a train strike where the whole of Victoria Station is going to be closed down the entire mm. day. We, don't, we cannot do that because it's, it's healthcare. People literally will die if they do that. So um, the, the backbone um, services will stay there. Right. Um, life, like I said, life extending, critical care, um, life preserving services will stay. And, and now, Roy, I mean, do you know if other nurses who have quit, who have given up because of, you know, the problems, the long waiting lists, the quality, oh, yes. uh, or, you know, the pay uh, and so forth. I yes. mean, have people that you know have walked out, have left, uh, quit after years of training? Yes, so in my cohort, that's a, a batch of nurses that went here. Um, two of them now, we're six of us, two of them now are in the US, um, just because they, they're just like well um, treated um, as nurses there. Um, people are not doing agency, purely agency nursing, because mm -hmm. they get paid more, obviously. Um, and people are doing different jobs under different visas as well. So everyone's trying to get out of this, and, and those who love this job are trying to stay and, and fight for this. Um, so I hope that people fight with us as well, because this is for the patient's sake. This is, this is for you, who's in the future going to be needing the NHS. This is for you, who's, who yourself will be needing it, yeah. your, the, your loved ones, your parents, everyone. Uh, we need to stay and you have to fight with us as well.
Well, I can see it's, a, it's been a tough decision. I can see the, how hard of a decision has been for you. Um, and I appreciate you coming here and speaking so openly Thank about you, it. Thank, Thank you very much. I appreciate Thank it. You. And still to come tonight, strong words from...